officially moved into my new apartment. And as you can see, I am sitting on my little terrace. If you live in the north, you know that you only get X amount of like warm days throughout the year. So there's nothing better than being like outside and out in nature and it just feels so good. And I'm so happy with my decision to get this apartment just for this little outside space. So I try and enjoy it as much as I can. Um, I only moved in about a week ago and my apartment is like 60% done. I still have a lot to do, but I just am loving this little outside space. So today is Friday. It is a work from home day. I really cherish my work from home days because I don't have to commute. <laughs> I can enjoy, you know, doing my work from the comfort of my own home. I can sit out here with my laptop, which is what I intend to do, and that's going to be my day. So basically I have a lot of work to do today, just things to wrap up that I was doing throughout the week. And then I am going to do a workout later on today. I usually do my workouts in the morning, but I decided to do it later because I'm actually going out tonight. So just to give you guys a little bit of context, today, or this weekend rather, is Grand Prix weekend here in Montreal. So it is a crazy, crazy weekend here in the city, which is nice, but for those of us who live here, it's a little chaotic. Last year I went to an F1 party, the same one that I'm going to this year, and it was highly entertaining, but you know, I felt very uncomfortable because like very out of my elements, there is very, gorgeous, beautiful, stunning women and, and men for that matter, um, you know, and I don't necessarily feel that I fit in, but I had like a really good time last year. So I'm actually going back to the same place that I was last year. It's called La Richmond. I'm really excited to see like what they have planned because last year there was like such great entertainment. Besides the people watching, there was amazing entertainment. So I'm looking forward to that. So I plan to do like my work throughout the day. And then once I'm done or maybe at lunchtime, I haven't decided yet, I'm gonna get in a workout. I'm gonna do a Tracy Anderson workout. Yeah, it's not often that I go out and I have like big nights like this, but every once in a while, and I guess no better time than Grand Prix weekends. But I can assure you the rest of the weekend will be in my home and getting everything well organized because right now, I don't know about you guys, but I hate living in chaos and I feel like I'm living in chaos right now. So, um, which is another reason why I like being outside on the terrace because it's so serene, it's quiet, and I can just be out here and feel peaceful. So I, with that said, I'm gonna go inside and go grab my laptop and get my day started. See how everything was with like the palace. I just checked in with my team in case you guys are wondering um, what I do for a living because I kind of really haven't talked about it much so my primary job is that I'm the executive assistant to the CEO of my company that's my primary job. My secondary job is that I run our facility. So I have a team of two people, actually three people, if you could consider one other person that we just put on our team. Yeah, so I'm the facilities supervisor and I basically take care of our entire building. And that takes up a massive portion of my day. So I just checked in with my team, see how they were doing. They have a couple of projects in the works right now. So trying to juggle everything and prioritize things as new things come in. So now um, I just did all my check-ins and I think I'm gonna get dressed and make myself some breakfast. I wanted to show you guys kind of what's going on out here in, on my little terrace just so you guys get an idea of like what I'm thinking to do. 
So let me show you guys. We had a huge rainstorm yesterday and these trees came down. I asked my building management if they could cut this down. This part over here I'm like really excited about because this is where I plan to hopefully plant some flowers and some herbs. Uh, it's just something that I love to do in the summer. My, my green thumb is improving over the years. I really used to just kill everything that I touch when it came to plants, but I am getting better at it. And I just love gardening so much. It's one of the reasons why I wanted this apartment so badly. So over here, it's, it's actually gonna be a lot of work and I'm waiting for my best friend to come back from vacation because she has like she is so good when it comes to gardening and I need her advice, I need her help. So that's what I want to work on at the beginning of this summer. Over here I have these two little chairs, obviously Levi's little area over here. And I just wanted to show you these are the the set that I got and right now if you can see everything is kind of like squished together. The reason for that is because like I said yesterday there was a huge rainstorm so I just kind of like moved everything closer to the overhang which is over here. Um, but usually I have it like spread out so it's so comfortable. A friend of mine came over the other day. We had some drinks out here and it was just so pleasant. Um, so right now, like, I actually think it might rain a bit later, so I'm just keeping it like this, but it, it does really lend to the whole terrace feeling. So right now everything's kind of squished, but on a daily basis, it's spread out. I wanted to tell you guys how incredibly thankful I am for all the beautiful birthday messages. I know my mother is too. I've relayed all those like kind messages to her and we are just so blessed that we have like this community of people and don't think that I don't read every single one of your comments and I was just really touched by them. So thank you guys so much for acknowledging my birthday and my mom's birthday. She was really happy to hear all those messages from you guys. And yeah, 43 feels pretty good so far, no complaints. So I do wanna make a video though about the things that I've learned that I wish I knew in my 20s and 30s that I know now in my 40s. Um, because I know like that some people feel uncomfortable about getting older. I really want to empower women to feel more confident as they get older. It's just it's something that I've become really passionate about. It doesn't matter what your age is. It's how you feel inside. It's how you conduct yourself. It's, it's about confidence, guys, and it doesn't matter what age you are. Being in your 40s is great, and there are a lot of things that I wish I knew earlier on in my life that I know now and yeah like I said 43 is great so far having a blast so um, with that said I am going to go inside the Sun is coming out I am so happy <sighs> yeah we need to work from home more days I love work from home Fridays like I see I got my my laptops here I am here. I got my coffee here. What's better than that? I only have one meeting today, which is this afternoon, but I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of calls and I have to finish up a few things here. And um, yeah, so anyways, I'm going to go make breakfast now. This is my work from home outfit today. I'm wearing this one piece jumpsuit from Maritzia. I love it. I love the color. It's in color mocha. I just have this oversized shirt from Zara. Really comfy and I've got my my like faux Uggs. What are these? They're oh they're Minnetonkas. I used to have Ugg slippers. I love them. They were great. I wore them out for years and then um I got these at DSW in the States and they were like a third of the price and they're just as comfy. So, okay, so let's make some breakfast. I have my coffee here. I am going to make 
just some uh, yogurt with some green apple and a little granola. I have a Costco membership and I found this. It's sheep yogurt and it tastes really good. But there's just something like, I mean, I know buying in bulk certain things make a lot of sense. Like this I believe is like $9 and my other like goat yogurt that I normally eat is like seven dollars and it's like half of this but there's something like I just can't get over the fact of like eating in a tub like from a tub like this is a tub <laughs> this uh, it's just so strange to me like let me show you guys I have other things like that too like hold on so are the two things that like drive me absolutely crazy like here is my tub of mayonnaise it is so cringy to me I don't remember how much this was it's something like stupid like how cheap it was and like Hellman's mayonnaise in the grocery store is like also like seven dollars for like something so small and you literally have to like stock the flyers to get something like reasonably priced but again, like, this is huge. And then here, this one is like, this, it took me a while to get over. So this is ghee. So I have bulletproof type of coffee every day, which I love. It's like my, I've been drinking it for years and I'm obsessed. Like, I just, it makes me happy in the morning. So ghee is something that I put in it. I put MCT oil and ghee. So ghee is a uh, clarified butter and it's really expensive, very expensive. So this I believe was $20 if I'm not mistaken, but something that is really, really small will cost you $10. So bargain, great. I like, I was very pleased to find this in terms of like the cost, but this is ridiculous. Like, look at this. Look how much ghee there is. Like, I just, to me, it's like, literally, like, <laughs> I, I don't know. How do you guys feel about this? It blows my mind, but I guess, like, you save money, and that's what I'm all about these days. I want to save money, and if that means having to, like, eat out of, like, tubs, well, I'm going to eat out of tubs. Let's get back to my yogurt. We are going to make some breakfast now. Bit of maple syrup because it need it's a little too tangy for my liking, so just a little bit. This is done. It's lunchtime now. It is actually it's past lunch and I am starving. I am going to make myself a turkey sandwich. I have been, oh, that doesn't look good. I've been craving a turkey sandwich so much lately. I saw somebody had posted this mouth watering picture of a turkey sandwich on Instagram. And since I've seen it, I've just been really dying for a turkey sandwich. I don't know, do you guys get this? Like I, if I like something, 
I will consistently eat it over and over and over again. But what happens is like, I'll eat it every single day for like a good six months, let's say. And then like after that, it's just like the look of it is like revolting to me. Like I get really, I go like in, <laughs> I really go for it. I eat it consistently and then I get really, really sick of it. And I think that's what happened to me with turkey. I don't think I've had turkey now for probably almost a year. Like I just did not want to eat it at all. I guess I'm back to eating turkey sandwiches. I probably shouldn't overdo it like I normally do. We are going to make ourselves a turkey sandwich. Let's go. I just took a shower and now I'm gonna blow dry my hair. I just did my makeup and I'm almost done my hair. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't film it. I'm just like, I'm kind of like in my head right now. I don't know why. It's actually pouring outside, so I don't know if, if this is gonna last. Um, I hope it will, but it is raining, so I don't know if all my efforts are gonna just turn into one frizzy mess. Let's hope it doesn't. This is the outfit for the night. This uh, leather skirt, a black bathing suit top, and an oversized black blazer, also from Zara my Chanel purse, and my DNG heels. guys a little bit about my night last night I went for a sushi dinner with one of my friends and which was so good like the vibe of this place was so enjoyable the ambiance was just really cool it had a nice crowd the music was good but like not too loud where like you couldn't hear each other you could still have a good conversation which is the main reason why we went out. There are certain friends in my life, and especially as I get older and everybody is busy with their own lives, that like you have to make like dates to see each other like in advance. And this is like one of my friends who I have those like situations with. I love the fact that you can sustain like a really good friendship with people and it doesn't mean that you have to talk to each other every single day. And I love that and I have that with like a lot of my girlfriends but yeah so it was like so nice to like catch up and have this like really nice time together felt like this year the vibe was different I don't know if it was like the vibe that was different or it's me that's different within like 30 minutes I was ready to go home like I enjoyed being there but I like I guess I like don't get like the pleasure of being out so late I didn't drink I had two drinks during dinner but that was enough for me like I didn't want to drink I didn't feel the need to drink um and I'm not saying that's why I wanted to go home I just felt that like I had a really nice night out for dinner and 
I didn't need to stay out any later. If you guys know me, you know that I am in bed by like 10 o'clock. Getting my sleep is so important. I am not the best sleeper. It's something I'm working on. Being in bed early and trying to get the best sleep that I can is more important than being out. I was glad that I went out. I saw what I needed to see and I came home and I got a pretty good night's sleep and now I'm just ready to get up and start my day. I'm excited and a little nervous about this day because I'm going to start really, really organizing my new apartment. Today I'm gonna to work really hard on trying to get this done because I work a full-time job, a full nine to five in the office, so it's rare that I get home and I wanna do this work. So this weekend is gonna be all about getting my home in order and being organized and just having a really nice space. So that's the plan for today. I'm sorry I didn't post last week. I'm trying to be really consistent, but a move is very stressful. I was very anxious. And I hope you guys like this video. There is more to come. And I have some really big plans for this summer, taking my YouTube channel to the next level, something that I'm so passionate about. And I really appreciate Everybody who has subscribed to this channel, people have liked my videos, people have left beautiful comments. I really appreciate them. I read every single one. So with that, I'm going to leave you guys and get up and start organizing this mess that I have. So see you guys in my next video. Mwah.